And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take a look at how Super Brawl 3, the first fight with Danny Boy Bennett and J.R. Palmer came to a conclusion, how we come up with this rematch. At this point, J.R. Palmer with 16 and 0, was really getting ready. This was supposed to be a tune-up fight. He was talking about fighting a, one of the bigger names in the sport. He dominated the fight for the first 10 minutes, yet wasn't able to do any damage to Danny Boy Bennett. And this is uh, what happened when Danny Boy Bennett got to his feet, a Muay Thai fighter, was learned how to defend on the ground, and uh, went after the uh, not necessarily properly skilled fighter as J.R. Palmer, but very, very tough. This is how it ended. One of the most spectacular knockouts in no holds barred history. To we'll take a look, the shin catching the chin, the instep catching the temple. J.R. Palmer was unconscious for over four minutes. Doesn't remember much of the day. Uh, and he's ready for some revenge here tonight. He says this time it's personal. We're actually gonna talk to J.R. Palmer. We asked him earlier today uh, what we can expect from him here tonight and how that knockout affected him. I have a lot of fury built up inside of me from you know, the embarrassment that it caused me. You know, being a somewhat of a somebody here caused me a lot of embarrassment, caused me a lot of pain, a lot of agony, caused a lot of stress between me and my wife, you know, and, and me and my friends. So and all that I've saved for him. I've saved all that for him. Plus, he took my belt. And never mind the money. I want my belt. And that's what I'm here to do tonight, take my belt back. Well, this sets up the super fight here tonight. Coming in with anger in his eyes, here comes J.R. Palmer, already pointing the first time he's had to come out as the challenger. He wants that title back. He wants Danny Boy Bennett here tonight. Boy, look at the intensity in J.R.'s eyes. <laughs> and then we talked also to Danny Boy Bennett. He even talked a little bit about what the fight meant to him and what the knockout meant to him. It's been my best knockout I've had. I mean, it scared to death. I was scared because I thought I had killed him. Normally when I knock people out, they wake up, you know, a few seconds later, you know. I've never, I just told my coach that night, man, if I can get the kick with the shin, the man will go out. Because I always catch someone with my foot. And I caught him with the shin, that, that scared me after you interviewed me in the middle of the ring and he still was out and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it scared me. He didn't have a mouthpiece in, so I think that's one reason why he got, you know, it was bad. He, he likes, he breathes with his mouth open. I think his mouth might've been open when he got kicked. That's probably why he got knocked out so bad. But no, I'm not afraid to try to knock him out. I don't want to knock him out so I don't have to fight him. But no, I'm not afraid. Well, as Danny Boy Bennett makes his way to the ring, J.R. Palmer already in his corner, stewing. Again, he says he's taking this personally. He's coming into this fight with a lot of anger. Uh, what do you think of, of that type of strategy, really coming in and taking it personally like that? I, I for myself as a fighter, I don't believe in uh, coming in the ring that way because then your focus is not truly on what's going on. And it's more emotional. All right, well, I'll tell you what, uh, this is... This is uh, uh, J.R. Palmer, one of the most exciting fighters I've ever seen in no Hold Barred history. Again, unorthodox style, extremely dangerous. Uh, you know, you saw him knocked out there, and he's done that to a number of fighters in, uh, in the past couple of years here in Hawaii. So uh, uh, he, he says, you know, he doles it out and he takes it. So uh, he, he's certainly ready for this fight. I know Danny Boy Bennett is ready for this fight. He took the rematch. He was kind enough to give JR a rematch. He knows how dangerous JR is, but uh, again, uh, Danny Boy Bennett, a very confident fighter in his own right, a Muay Thai champion, Commonwealth Muay Thai champion, and uh, he's trained some with Marie Smith, some with Matt Hume, uh, so he's, he was comfortable enough in the first fight uh, to, to be comfortable on the ground. Let's see what happens here tonight in Super Brawl 4. Five foot nine inches tall, 
151 pounds. He's 25 years old. Super Bowl one and two lightweight champion. Future Bowl three, four, seven, eight champion. His record stands at 16 wins and one loss in full contact fighting. This is fight style at Taekwondo. Please welcome Jay R. That's what we call a game face, Egan. He looks real intense. And ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner. Five foot ten inches tall. 159 and a half pounds. He's 26 years old. From Seattle, Washington. The Commonwealth Light Middleweight Muay Thai Champion. Canadian Champion and Washington Champion. Also, Super Bowl Three Super Fight Champion, Danny Boy Bennett. Danny Boy Bennett really got himself a bunch of fans the last time in town here. A lot of people looking forward to see him fight. Now, you have a school here in uh, Hawaii uh, called Grappling Unlimited, Egan. Tell yes, us a little sir. about that. Well, we usually work on mostly Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but I do get fighters ready for these type of fights. So anybody in the Hawaii region, feel free to stop by Grappling Unlimited in Mililani. Uh, actually, we're in Halava Valley, Aiea. Uh, a near capacity crowd now ready for the super fight. Will it be the revenge of J.R. Palmer or another victory for Danny Boy Bennett? JR says he's gonna keep his hands held a little higher this time. Danny Boy Bennett hoping not to be taken down. But he is taken down. Now he's gonna try and get to a guard. Already partially mounted by JR. He's he's looking for that chicken wing. He did, didn't he? Looking for yeah, a submission, he JR. For he's, I'll tell you what, he said he's been learning a little bit more of the jiu-jitsu style. Uh, I don't know exactly where he's been training or whether he's just watching tapes, but uh, he says he's got some more. This is where uh, the first fight started, and what happened was JR was not able to hurt Danny Boy Bennett, even from the mount. Uh, so this is really going to be very telling now, whether or not JR is able to do any damage from here. Danny Boy Bennett used a very good defense. There's something new that JR had said he was going to try this time, that elbow, to try and break the... Break the grab. Yeah, and he's able to do it. We can see if JR did his homework now. Well, so far we've seen an attempted submission and then using that elbow to break the grip. Uh -huh. Seems like he may have done his homework. JR tends sometimes to be a little bit impatient. You know, he really wants to, to do damage. He really enjoys doing damage to his opponents and uh, was frustrated here in Super Brawl 3. And maybe the same thing happening here. Look out! Oh no! <laughs> Almost got kicked in the head again. I'll tell you what, that had to uh, bring back some memories for JR. You see the hands up now. Let's see, this is where Danny Boy Bennett really is at home. JR. Uh, see, those are the kicks that will do some damage to JR if this fight goes too, too much longer. Those low tie kicks. Ooh, a big kick, but JR gets the leg. He needs to take Danny Boy Bennett down. Oh, he takes the right hand from Bennett. He needs to hook that leg, right, Egan? He needs to sweep that bottom leg. All he needs is that right foot sweep. There, he gets him down. Oh, oh, look, foot lock. Looking for a foot lock. Oh, not in position now. Oh. Boy, Danny Boy Bennett just looking like he's ready to tee off on one of those. 
Oh, Ooh, big straight right hand. Oh, oh the kick leg kick down again. JR. Oh, he's out. He's out. That's it. That's it. Neck kick. Oh, oh he is out. A uh, net kick. A left roundhouse net kick to JR Palmer. And those kicks to the neck do put you out oh, quickly, yeah. don't they? It's a, a direct shin to the neck of J.R. Palmer. Now he sits back down. He got up, but you could see, at that one point, you could see Danny Boy Bennett reluctant to follow up. It's mm -hmm. almost as if he gave some, uh, really kind of let up on J.R. A good thing, that straight right hand is what did it right there. Big right hand. There's a missed right there. Oh, and a beautiful kick straight to the neck. And you see there, showed mercy. Danny Boy Bennett, a short fight here tonight. J.R. Palmer looking a little dejected on the ground. Let's take a look at this right hand that set it up. A straight right hand really, I think, may have dazed J.R. The right hand drops and throws that left Perfect. kick. Really picture perfect there, technically right. If you were to teach somebody a, 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 a time over there, the straight right sets it up. And down goes JR. And I don't think any question there, There's that fight needed to be stopped. Yeah. I don't know what JR is complaining about. He doesn't remember what happened. <laughs> he wants to still fight. Well, I, I, I have no doubt in my mind that JR wants to still fight, but it's, it's <laughs> over tonight. Uh, and the career. We're seeing this scene for a second time out here. Again, J.R. Palmer dejected in his corner. Uh, career, maybe. I, I think what happened here, Egan, he's so focused on winning uh, that I don't even think he had losing in his mind. And now that he's sitting there on the losing end again, I think uh, frustration as much as anything. In the corner there, Jason Peely, who also knows you know, a couple of fighters from Hawaii that are used to winning, mm -hmm. uh, trying to suck it up here. There's a nice picture of Danny Boy Bennett. But well, once again, what a great night of fighting here in Honolulu, Hawaii. We hope it can uh, progress this sport. You know, there's a lot of questions, a lot of politicians maybe on uh, focusing in on this. I think we've shown once again, it's uh, certainly a sport as safe as any other full contact sport. I mean, we're not fooling anybody. This is a dangerous sport, but uh, any full contact sport can be dangerous these days. Actually, I think this, I hope this can keep continuing because like, like for some of the other fighters, instead of fighting on the street, you take it to the ring and, and you know, the more skilled fighter will win. And you, and you see the kind of sportsmanship. These guys have so much respect for each other. Uh, we've done almost 40 fights here now in Honolulu. And at every fight, these guys are hugging each other at the end. Some of the toughest guys. Uh, it, it's uh, you know, fantastic to watch. It, it isn't street fighting. These guys are very skilled athletes. Uh, and we're very happy to see it. Special thanks to 24 Hour Fitness. Of course, Budweiser, the king of beers. Want to thank you, Egan, with Grappling Unlimited right there in Halava. Apex Nutrition Systems as JR makes his way out. Hanson Juice is helping us out here. Once again, for Egan Anui, my name is TJ Thompson. 
Look for us in Super Brawl 5. Aloha.